I did the Ancestry DNA not because I didn't know who I was. I definitely know that I'm African American, but as African Americans, we know that we are all mixed with a little something, something. And I've really been curious about what exactly that something, something is and to what percentage am I? Hey everybody, it's Kyla Live, and today I am doing a video that I said I was gonna do a long time ago, but I never got around to it. But now's the time. Okay guys, so I took the Ancestry DNA test, and I started with so many questions. Really open-ended questions, because I really didn't know what to expect. And I ended with so many answers and so many so many answers and even more questions to explore, which I was really excited about. I will say this, that Ancestry DNA has did a, an amazing job of just giving us opportunities to connect the dots. One thing that they added on their website recently is not just your ethnicity breakdown, but also your genetic community. So where did your family actually originate from? What did they do in the States? How did they travel? Where did they migrate to? Things like that. They really dug into that and honestly, I feel like they're really listening to the African American voice <laughs> because at first when you, as an African American, when you see this test, you're like, why? Why do I need to take this when I already know what I am? I'm black. But it's really great just to know one, yes, what is my ethnicity back breakdown? But two, give me more information about where my family started from in America. How did they get to where they are now? And that piece, that piece is golden. All right, so before I actually took this exam, I had lots of conversations with both of my parents and both of my grandmothers about just my family history and where we're from and what makes us us and there was a lot of things that I just needed answers to that I felt like an Ancestry DNA exam would really help. So a little bit about me, I was born in the Philippines, my dad was military, not Filipino though, completely African American even though I do have that citizenship, just in case I need to catch a flight. Both of my parents have roots in Mississippi, they're both from this very little small town and we have really great stories about our relatives. And I know for sure that I have both Caucasian and Native American in my family. Just don't know the percentage, right? So I'm taking this exam just to see exactly what's what. Like, what is my makeup? And where in Africa is my family from? First and foremost, if you're taking this exam, it's really easy. Um, they just send you a package in the mail. So they have to spit in the cup and you shake it up and you put it in the package and you send it off. Really easy. In a couple of weeks, you'll get your results back in the form of your own little personal like Ancestry DNA website. And it breaks down all of your ethnicity estimates and DNA matches, all that great stuff. And I'll show you guys what my page looks like. All right, so here are my results. 41% of my relatives are from Nigeria, 15% is from Mali, and 12% is from Ivory Coast, Ghana. So if I expand my breakdown, you'll see that I am 81% African, less than 1% Asian, 15% European, and less than 1% American. So how about this? I actually have a dash of Polynesian sauce, y'all. I am Filipino. Now less than 1% that is, but I am Filipino. I can take root to that, and Ancestry DNA gives me the full breakdown of every single area that my ancestors came from, so I'm pretty excited to explore that. Okay, so my overall map on Ancestry DNA is extremely colorful. And I'm down for it. Clearly, we all know that as African Americans, we come from so many different regions, and I'm excited to explore it even further. 
would say the only thing that was surprising about my results based off of the conversations that I've had with both my parents and my grandparents is the fact that um, my Native American percentage was ranked less than 1%. I was a little baffled by that. I thought that the Native American percentage would be a little bit higher, but hey, let's go with it. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a deep dive into the genetic communities, which really breaks down where your family could have migrated from within the United States. And like, if you hit on the question, so the genetic communities show where your family probably lived the past few 100 years. We create these by identifying groups of ancestor DNA members who were genetically connected with each other. As science improves and our DNA database grows, the communities you're connected to might change. So these are just ideas of where your family could have been originated from on the American side of things. And I think this is really helpful and gives really more reason for people of color to actually dive into ancestry DNA. If I follow that purple trail, I know that of course, my family is from the Deep South, so we probably did originate from the Virginia, Maryland area. We probably came off of either the Virginia coast or the Maryland coast, which gives me more pause to why I live where I live and why I came north. You know, in the beginning, you really don't know why you move places, but I do feel connected to Maryland, and I really am interested to see if I can find some type of connection and direct connection of my family lineage here or in Virginia. So yeah, I really enjoyed this, and it really gives me more clarity about who I am, the journey that my family went through, and just more insight on my family history. And I'm excited because I really do want to travel to all these places in Africa. I've been to Africa one time and when I go back, I really do want to go to places that my roots are from or possibly could be from. And hopefully one day I can really connect all those dots and figure out the entire You know, even those folks in Great Britain might be able to figure out who they are. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this. And if you guys take your Ancestry DNA test, please let me know. I would love to hear the results that you guys have and the experience that you guys are having with it. Until next time, guys.